I've said a few times in various flanger demos that I think some flangers can do chorus better than a lot of chorus pedals. But I've always been hesitant to say that because how can that actually be? Flanger and chorus are technically very different effects, even though they can often be confused. Take Andy Summers of The Police. Um, he is known for, on quite a few songs, to have quite a heavily modulated tone that I, and I assume quite a few of you may be watching, assumed was just chorus. But actually turns out most of the time it was an electro harmonics, electro mistress flanger. Set kind of subtly, I suppose, for a flanger, so it kind of borders on that chorusy tone. So maybe in the past when I've said flanger A makes the best chorus sound, maybe what I'm actually saying is that I just prefer flangers. I don't know, I'm not sure. And I figured there's only one way to actually answer this, and that's with some tones. So I got my two favorite chorus pedals, Boss CE2W Chorus, Caroline Guitar Company Somersault, and I also got my two favorite flangers. Another Boss one, Boss BF2, this is a mid 80s Japanese one, and also the Dreadbox Comma Raby. You haven't seen this on the channel, but I love this pedal. So we're gonna have a little experiment, and for the first few minutes of tones, you guys aren't going to know which pedal I'm playing. You're going to know them as pedal A, pedal B, pedal C, and pedal D. Leave in the comments if you think it's a flanger or a chorus. First pedal A is the Dreadbox comma Raby, so a flanger. Pedal B was the BF2, another flanger. Pedal C was the Caroline Somersault, and that means pedal D was the CE2. So two flangers, then two choruses. Thank you. 
And you know what, side by side, there's some clear differences, but I actually found the biggest differences between, I guess, these two pedals. These two pedals are clearly doing different things and they achieve a chorus sound quite differently. But what was the biggest surprise was how similar I could get these two pedals to sound, especially at the end there when I was switching between these two quite fast, really quite close to just, if you're just strumming along, I'm not sure I could tell the difference. When you start to pick out notes and play, uh, I don't know, more arpeggiated chords, then you can start to hear the LFO in this one going. Um, but other than that, these two are so close. This one on the website is described as a chorus slash flanger. I know it says that, but for me, this is 100% uh, flanger. And it's kind of a great example of what I'm trying to talk about in this video. It is all flanger in my opinion, but just does a great chorus E, chorus esque sound. This was the least chorusy, in my opinion, out of all of them. Uh, even the BF2 can get a bit more chorusy than the Comorabi can, but I love the Comorabi for just messing around and getting more extreme flangery tones. This one, I think, is maybe the most different, the most unique out of the four of them, and that's because the way it creates the chorus is slightly different. It's also, I'd say, maybe the warmest sounding modulation pedal here. I guess the least 80s, the least cheesy, maybe, you could say. So yeah, I hope that was interesting and maybe, uh, Maybe you learned something. Maybe you just had fun watching the video. Maybe you hated it. Let me know either way. Um, I'm certainly going to be playing with these effects a bit more. I've always sort of said to myself that I hate chorus, but maybe I actually quite like chorus. Thanks guys for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and maybe check out some more. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.